what this house represents to us was kind of the, the starting point for the fragrance. So that spirit of escape, of disconnecting, of going away and to find yourself and reconnecting with things that are more important. We got here and we just kind of knew it was the one. I remember driving up like the hill, remember mm -hmm. that? And feeling it like I was so remote. Like, where are we? And Bob and Sue were here. The best part of our lives is that they come up here to draw and to create, and they escape New York City, and they come up here, and we're here. Bob and Sue are our caretakers, and they, um, whatever we need, they're always there for us. Um, and just, we've just become really good friends over the years. Plus the fact that we have a farm. Not too many people like that, you know, the, the noise of the animals. The and smell. The smell, and they embrace it. They love it. A couple years before we bought the house, we were looking at, to get out of the city when we went to go sketch our collections. We wanted to just kind of get out of the noise, get out of the distractions, and come up to somewhere where it was just peaceful and quiet, and we could just really focus. And we've been drawing up here every collection ever since for the last, like, you know, nine, 10 years. You know, fashion was never something that I thought I could do or never thought that it was like a viable career option. I thought I had to be like a, you know, a doctor or a lawyer or if you're a creative, maybe an architect. But I moved to New York in 1997. And so I transferred to Parsons and did my kind of core curriculum there. And we were in the same class. So we would end up doing like a lot of like our homework together. And it got weird because the last project, we both had the same inspiration idea, um, same references. So like, this is weird. We're gonna be competing against each other, but it's like really one collection. And then that's when we're like, you know what, let's just do it together. Yeah, I mean, we were the first collaborative senior thesis in the history of Parsons, I think. Yeah. Peter Arnold, who is the director of the CFDA, was one of the judges uh, for the senior thesis collection. And so we won the Designer of the Year Award at the end of the year. And then a week after, he called us into his office and just had a little chat. And so he's like, let me introduce you to Jolie Gilhart from Barney's. I'm sure, I'm sure she'd love to meet you. And uh, we showed her the collection, and she was really, really into it. And we thought she was just going to give us some good critical feedback as to where to go or what to do next. But instead, she placed a huge order for Barney's. We had to figure out how to produce this. We only had two months to produce the whole thing. So we had to kind of scramble and come up with, with a name for the company. What's your mother's maiden name? It's like Brenza. What's yours? I'm like Schooler. I'm like Brenza Schooler. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that could work. And we just kind of went for it. It kind of was perfect timing. We'd never planned it that way. We really like jumping around and exploring new worlds. Going into this fragrance, to be honest, we didn't really know what to expect. I mean, we knew that there's a campaign, and there's a bottle, and there's the, there's the scent. But other than that, we didn't really know what kind of went into it. And it was all like very kind of unexpected for us. 